Hi, this is George and welcome back to the LinkedIn course. So what we're going to do now is set up an optimized LinkedIn profile. And the reason that it's so important to do that is because there are more than 300 million members on LinkedIn. Um, and that was from April 2014 statistics. So it's, it's even more now, but uh, LinkedIn members are not just are not like Facebook members. LinkedIn members are much more likely to be looking for services, programs, products, business partners, referral sources, um, business networking. It is the biggest online business networking platform in the world. Uh, it's in more than 200 countries and territories, it says, and um, it's just amazing. So, so when you optimize your LinkedIn profile, those 300 million members are looking for, some of those people are looking for someone like you to serve them, to partner with them, to refer people to. And so uh, you're going to be much more, you're going to be increasing your chance of being found uh, in the LinkedIn search engine as a result. So uh, I'm going to just e expand this a little bit so it's more easy to see. Okay, so setting up a LinkedIn profile. So first of all, we already talked about this in the last lecture, so I'm going to move on now. So now we're going to talk about fully filling out your LinkedIn profile and if you have team members to, to have them do the same thing okay so let's take a look at this and see what's involved here and by the way I am speaking quite quickly uh, because I try to make these videos shorter if possible uh, if you find that I'm speaking too quickly please give me that constructive feedback and let me know to speak more slowly or if you find that my speaking quickly is inspiring you and keeping you energized let me know that too <laughs> okay all right so first thing about your LinkedIn profile is your professional headline is probably the most important thing about your LinkedIn profile. Let me show you what the professional headline is. When I go to my LinkedIn profile, or actually let's just take a look here, under people you may know. So Cynthia McGrath, that's her name, and then, and then um, Doctor of Nursing Practice, Family Nurse, that's the headline, the professional headline. Chris Jensen, Executive Director at San Bruno Mountain Watch, that's a headline. Owner, the, San, the Meeting Game Salon, Editor, and then of course it, it kind of cuts off here, but there's more. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Um, editor, uh, but you, you see how a lot of people by default, I'm just going to open this person's profile, a lot of people, oh, editor, Kingston King's Outlook, a lot of people by default use their, um, their job titles, and I don't think that's the best use of professional headline. Let's take a look at what mine is so you can kind of see what I, what I do here. See, my professional headline is right livelihood. Okay, excuse me here, I'm going to just uh, X this out. My professional line is right livelihood, online marketing, social media. So in the first line, I immediately give people a sense of the things that, that they should remember about me. Uh, I'm not just another business or marketing coach. I'm really a, a coach that deeply values the concept of uh, aligning our highest values with the work that we do every day. Uh, in other words, right livelihood uh, is one way of saying it. Online marketing, I want people to, remind, to remember me as someone who can advise them on reaching a lot more people online. I want people to remember me as someone who can train them and coach them on social media for business. And then for, for streamline business, uh, to, to streamline, uh, right life streamline, I should really write streamlining business for coaches, consultants, counselors, and healers. So how do you edit your professional headline? You come to, you, 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 you go to LinkedIn, log in, you move, your, you can click directly on profile. And then you move your mouse over this area underneath the, the name and you click on it. And then this is where you write it. And the maximum number of characters is 120 characters. So the way I like to do it is I like to go to a website called wordcounter.net. Wordcounter.net. And I really like to use this. So I, well, I've, I've, already, you know, I've already pasted it here. You can see it's 119 characters. It's just about perfect. Actually, if I wanted to change light to streamlining, that would work too, streamlining business. Okay, so I would I would write this all out. I would copy it uh, by doing uh, Command C or Control C on your keyboard. Command C on a Mac, Control C on a Windows. I would go to Edit Profile, click on this, select everything here, delete it, and then paste it. Paste in my new one, and then click Save. Okay, see there it is. Okay, so professional headline is incredibly important because as you as you saw from my earlier. Um, screen here it's being seen in all kinds of places see people you may know again these are professional headlines again most people are not uh, optimizing that that space um, 
use keywords that describe you well and what prospective clients partners are looking for um, again like I said it's the most visible thing on your LinkedIn profile besides your name and photos so I wanted to just spend extra time on that it's incredibly important the other thing you can do to get ideas of professional headlines is go to the search box and search for people who are your niche mates people who are who are doing a similar service as you uh, serving a similar audience as you so for example for me or, or let's just say for you let's say you are a relationship uh, coach okay so I'll just search relationship coach and I press enter on my keyboard and once the search uh, pulls up I'm gonna click people to kind of filter by people and then see this is um, this is the professional headline okay so this, this again this person is not optimizing the number of characters but it's good that this person has some keywords in there um, see this person is is doing a better job of optimizing the number of characters in her headline relationship consultant integrated life coach notice how I search relationship coach right and then LinkedIn in the search results will will bold the the keywords that I searched for in the professional headline so you see how important the professional headline is it figures in heavily into the search algorithm itself so whatever thing phrases words that you think your ideal clients are looking for on LinkedIn or would look for in a search engine use those keywords those words or phrases in your professional professional headline if possible the ones that are most likely to be searched by your ideal clients when looking for someone like you um, let's take a look here uh, the relationship doctor so it's it's cool how this person she's a PhD so she she calls herself a doctor can use a sort of a, a tagline to, to have to make herself more memorable like and she puts it in quotes meaning this is what people call me so I really like that um, intersection of biblical wisdom and personality science so this is a really interesting headline isn't it because it, it really uh, um, narrows down on people who believe in the Bible who really value the Bible and she's really trying to reach out to people like that people who also find personality science interesting so this is a really a good job <laughs> Rana for, for, for writing that um, certified Tantra educator so it's, it's nice that this person is is putting some credibility right into her professional headline as well conscious relationship and the word conscious relationship is a key word a key phrase that some people are searching for so it's nice that she put that in there um, at Jewel in the Lotus Coaching now she really doesn't need to put Jewel in the Lotus Coaching as her business name but unless that name is a household name in her industry chances are people aren't searching for that so that would be a bit of a wasted space there a psychologist dating relationship wellness coaching at date to soulmate again no need to use your business name unless it's a household name in your industry okay unless you work at a, at a company that's a household name um, coach workshop facilitator and that's nice that she put the word workshop in there because maybe people in her industry are looking for people to run workshops so so that you know that that if if I were searching relationship workshops you know that might uh, hurt her name uh, would come up uh, closer to the top so I hope uh, just by giving you a couple of um, ideas here that that uh, it helps you remember to search for your niche mates using different words to see examples of what other people are using and borrow emulate what examples you're really liking so i hope that's helpful next we're going to talk about the other parts of your uh, linkedin profile in the next lecture see you there